This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen. How'd your weekend go? First weekend of fall. Beautiful, excellent weather down here in southern Alberta. Uh, you know, might tweet something out on uh, Twitter, but I, I, I don't know if an Oilers guy like me should be tweeting a picture of the Saddle Dome in the fall. So just we'll keep that off the old Twitter machine for now. But my friends, it's Sunday. I've skipped a couple days here again, just relaxing, kicking back, enjoying things here at home as a company came to visit and some family came to visit. And here we go, having that good weekend. And like I said, going for a walk down by the Saddle Dome. And well, now here we go, Sunday afternoon, everybody's cleared out and it is free and clear time to talk about the Edmonton Oilers once again. And my friends, Kurt Levins, publishing that Nine Things article at midnight every night on Saturday, Sunday night, whatever you want to call it. And hoo, 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 hoo. was there a goodie in there today? A bold, bold prediction, my friends, about Yasapuli RV signing a one-year deal at $1 million or close there to coming up here in the next 10 days. Now, if you're not familiar with what's happening in the next 10 days, draft, free agency, no, free agency is in the next 10 days draft is. You've got, of course, uh, the cup champion being crowned and a whole bunch of crazy things getting underway here in the next 10 days. And trust me, in my life, things are about to get crazy too. But we'll get through it, we'll manage, and we will talk Oilers as much as humanly possible in the upcoming next 10 days. But yes, Pooley RV, add in another wrinkle to this. And who, my goodness, now all of a sudden we got some real legit Oilers news to watch for, right? Right now, this is only rumor stage, but imagine, imagine the pandemonium, because I know I've been anti Pooley RV this whole time, but something, if you guys don't know me well enough, if you haven't watched enough videos, is that I have this sick and twisted idea of the world where I love, I absolutely love to watch the world burn. Even when it works against me, I love to watch the world burn. And with everything that has gone on in Oilers land the past couple of months, actually a year plus now, let's go 15 months, the world burning in Oilers land is Yesa Pugliarvi re-signing with the Oilers. You want to go a step further? Yes, a RV re-signing with the Oilers and succeeding is the world literally burning. And that is, oh, oh man. And I know that's a terrible analogy to use or whatever you want to call it, but it's my example and I'm going to use it because that's, uh, that's who I am. A little bit sick and twisted, but it is kind of for a lot of us that have been anti yes Puliarvi this whole time since he made a statement and he wanted to trade whatever his agent made a statement whatever the heck the snare do, do we even have the facts straight anymore <laughs> i think it's a little hard with what happened in march right but you get you get what i'm getting at is you know what now according to a reliable source of oilers news we've got a situation in which the whole mess could be tied up in the next 10 days. That's pretty cool. Because you know what? It, it seems like this whole, uh, this whole storybook year of the Oilers getting back to glory, right? You can say what you want about the playoff performance. We finished second in the Pacific Division. Any other year, that's good enough to host home ice advantage in the playoffs. Now, you can say what you want about the play-in series. The points counted as playoff points. My friends, whether you argue they shouldn't or they should, they do. And that's all that matters. So, yeah, you know what? That's playoffs. To me, if the, counts, if the points count to McDavid's career playoff totals, guess what? They count to playoff totals, and that's playoff games. So we got the playoffs this year. Again, whatever you think of the series, the Oilers beat themselves. Chicago played bad enough to lose. We just couldn't beat ourselves and Chicago at the same time. It's going to happen. You know what? End of, the o end of the day, we are the Oilers. If you're expecting them to do anything and you're complaining that they're, they're terrible, you, you do realize you're cheering for the Oilers and normally only bad things happen to us. So there are a whole lot of storylines here, but the whole longest storyline we have had Pre-Ken Holland, the thing that we have had going back before anything else, 
to the Keith Gretzky days as interim general manager of the Oilers. One of, if not the only storyline left from back then is Yessa Pugliarvi. And here we are, 10 days away potentially at most, according to Kurt Levins, from having a reunion with Yessa Pugliarvi and the story being over. And that's crazy. My friends, that is crazy. Because <laughs> I, I had a very good visit with an old friend today. And, I mean, y- you want to talk about how crazy things are when they kind of come full circle and everything comes to an end or whatever you want to say. It's been a journey. <laughs> Life's a journey. And some of the things I've said, some of the things I've read online, some of the things that have been said by S. Blairvey and his agent and how this whole story has transpired, my goodness, what a roller coaster life is. And now, right, think about all this training camp stuff. We had people thinking because, yes, Pugliarvi was playing a Métis team in uh, in the preseason in Liga. We had people thinking, yes, Pugliarvi could put up 160 points in the NHL if he could just carry over what he was doing there to the NHL. Right? We, we had all kinds of crazy, out-of-the-box, of Wonderland kind of stuff going on with this whole Yes Pugliarvi thing. And the most concrete answer to date is that it could be done in the next 10 days with a reunion with the Oilers. And as much as I am Yes Pugliarvi, yes, I love to watch the world burn. You know what? End of the day, the best case scenario is that it works out for the Edmonton Oilers and Yes Pugliarvi. And you have a top four pick turn into a superstar on either McDavid's wing, the third line, whatever. You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't, you don't always need, and it is, Dallas is proving it, you don't need your top line winger to score the important goal in the playoffs to win you the cup. You can have the guy on the fourth line score a hat trick and win it in overtime. Right? So that's end of the day. No matter what Yes Pulleyarvi amounts to, the best case scenario, I think, all along even though I was against it because, you know what, you make that much of a stink, you deserve to get booted, you deserve to find a one-way ticket out of town. Sure, that's the way it works. That's Trust me, if I said, hey, boss man, I don't want to be here anymore, fire me, guess what? I'd get fired. That's that's generally how it works. And especially if I went and worked for another company, I would, I would get fired, right? So let's think about it in real terms. But here we go. The Oilers have a chance at a reclamation project. And I know everyone's beating their heads against the concrete wall. Why would we give up on Athanasiu? If you are, why would we give up on Athanasiu, but you are against Yes Pugliarvi? That is where, my friends, you need to give yourselves a head shake and think about what you're doing there. Because one and two do not equal four. And you are making way too much mental and even emotional jumps for your own well-being. That's all I'm going to say. So, yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. Right? It's It hits you like a rock in terms of how crazy everything we've come to terms with over the past 15, 16 months with this Yes Pugliarvi mess and the rest of the world. How crazy this all could be to the end. But here we are um, at... According to Kurt Levins, a maximum of 10 days away from having a solution at a reasonable cost, a reasonable one-year deal, show me, prove me what you can do, and here we go, get it done. Yes, Pugliarvi reunites with the Edmonton Oilers, and la di da nobody's worse for wear. End of the day, right? The Oilers made the playoffs this year without Yes, Pugliarvi. The world did not end by losing Yes, Pugliarvi to Europe for a year where he found himself, found his game, and potentially could come back and light the NHL on fire. Because I, here's the thing. End of the day, I, I, I think if you are one of those people that is pro Yes Pugliarvi, you would agree with this statement in the fact that the NHL has never actually witnessed Yes Pugliarvi at his capability. Right? I'm not saying prime, peak, or anything. Capability. If Yes Pugliarvi plays up to the capability, he knows he can. The NHL is not, has not prepared for that. 
So think about that. End of the day, right? That's something to think about. And my goodness, do I have a lot of that to do tonight. So uh, normally I'd try and pump out another two or three videos tonight. That's not going to be the case. This is it. That's all unless somehow yes, player resigns with the Oilers tonight. And uh, well, my friends, you enjoy the rest of your weekend. <laughs> I'm going to try and take my mind out of the blender. And we're going to get on with it. I'm Tyson, this is the TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will catch you, as always, in the next one.